Hello everyone, this is K9. Back with another tech tutorial for you today. I recently received a request to do a video about syncing bookmarks across your devices. So this doesn't matter if you have one laptop here, one laptop over there, if I'm using Firefox and Chrome or Safari or Internet Explorer. So I set out on my journey to find a free way to do this. Now all the solutions I found were missing something. Oh yeah, they sucked. They were buggy, or they required external programs, and they were just cumbersome to use. So instead, I'm going with the next best thing I could find, Xmarks. So this program is actually a browser extension that works in all modern browsers, all the way through IE and even Opera. It also has support for nearly every mobile device out there. However, just as a disclaimer, that is a paid upgrade. Now, typically, I don't use my phone for heavy internet browsing or bookmarking, so for me, the free option worked just fine. So today, we will be going over installation and setup. So first thing you need to do is head over to the website, download.xmarks.com download. Now, of course, the link will be in the description. Once you're here, go ahead and click download. It will redirect you to the extension page for Chrome or Firefox add-on page, etc. So once it's added to Chrome, it should appear on the right of your search bar, or at least it does in Chrome, and you can go ahead and click this button. Now this may open up your uh, setup wizard direct, like right away. Um, for In my case it didn't, so I had to hit Xmark settings, which opened this new tab, and then click the run setup wizard. Now in the following dialog, this is just a, hello, thank you for installing, you want to go ahead and click next. Now this is my first setup, right, I don't have it on any other laptop, I don't have it on any other browser. So I'm going to hit create an account. Go ahead and click next. And then I'm going to fill this information in. So I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have it uh, set up here, you're going to go ahead and click next. So this is going to create an account for you on the Xmarks uh, server. So once you click next, it's going to upload your bookmarks to the server. And you can go ahead and click sync. This could take a while, depending on how many books you are. Now, luckily, in this browser, in this Chrome browser, I don't have many. But once it's done, you can go ahead and click OK. All right. And now, if you're still on this tab, you'll see that it says when it was last synced, um, your account. Um, you can go over and name this computer. Um, you can also sync your open tabs, which is really cool. Um, if you notice, this is a LastPass um, product. So it will work with passwords if you have the LastPass program that does that portion of it. And then you can go ahead and do your profiles and everything else. So I'm going to leave that up to you if you want to do it. Um, for me, the automatic is just perfectly fine. Um, you know, I, don't, I didn't have to change any settings to get it to do what I wanted it to do. Now, believe it or not, this is pretty much it. This is actually the whole thing. So all you have to do is go back and go to your other browsers and do the same thing. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in IE because that's the only other browser I have. Okay, so here I am on the, I'll make this bigger. So here I am on the, uh, again, download page for Xmarks and IE. You'll notice it's actually very similar except here we go. Here's your Internet Explorer, okay? and you want to hit download and it'll ask you if you want to run it or save it so I'm going to choose run and you know Microsoft's going to do its normal stupid setup so now this unfortunately because the way IE works this is going to be treated like another program but you can go ahead and go ahead and hit accept the user agreement you can go ahead and install it and then you'll be prompted with the same setup wizard that we were before so I'm going to just walk you through that process Okay, so this look, this wizard <laughs> looks a little familiar, so this should uh, remind you very much of the Chrome one. So you go ahead and click Next, but this time, ah, I do have an account. So I'm going to hit Next, and I go ahead and I'm going to type in my information. And I totally flubbed up my password, but that's okay. There we go. And I'm successfully logged in now. And now I am ready to synchronize. And it tells you it's going to merge the favorites, um, and it's going to merge your local favorites with the server favorites. And you can actually hit the change, and actually here's your many um, options that you can choose from. So one, you have merge from server. You can 
merge from server starting from the server or merge from server starting with your computer. So in other words, it's kind of weird. Like the way I understand this, I, I've never personally, I, I've done this a few times, but I haven't really seen a difference really. Um, it's just the way it processes it. Like you will pull down all the information first. Like if you merge favorites with the server starting with this computer, that option will take all your local bookmarks first and push them up to the server before doing anything. Merge favorites with this computer starting with the server will pull down all the bookmarks first before doing anything. Then of course you could choose the others which are keep favorites on this server and discard, no, uh, discard those on this computer. So in other words I'm going to completely erase all my favorites and I'm just going to keep the ones on the Xmark server. Or you could go with the fourth and final option, which is to discard your favorites on the server, but keep only the favorites on this computer. So there's a couple options. I'm just going to say merge favorites with this computer, starting with the server, which is the default option. And then you want to go ahead and click synchronize. Okay, so it finished uh, syncing, and you can see if I open my favorites, there is all my bookmarks. So yes, it did actually pull all the bookmarks into the favorites. So there you go. It did actually work. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this video helped you all out. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and a thumbs down if you disliked it. Also, I want to apologize about not putting up the video about recovering deleted files. I simply did not have the time this week with finals going on, and I wanted to at least give you one video. I'll be pushing that video to next week, but seeing as it is also our last week for this uh, current calendar year here at K9, we will be also going over our top tips, tricks, and programs for a good year-end PC tune-up. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.